Good morning everyone. Today we are doing a foundation first impression and my last foundation first impression which I think was my Charlotte Tilbury one, right? Oh, still love that by the way. It's so good. I'll link that video below. Lots of people are asking for this. The Makeup Forever HD Skin, the new version. Okay, I've been around on YouTube forever. Like over 10 years now and I swear Makeup Forever HD foundation was like the very first or one of the very first like viral foundations. I wanted it for so long and I could never get it to New Zealand. It took me years to be able to get it. Um, whereas now you can get it on Sephora New Zealand which is awesome. I think this version is like $2 cheaper than the old version was um, and the packaging is like really cool and fun. I like the nude lid. It comes in heaps of different shades. I'm just going to pull up some information on the website. So it goes for $75. You can also buy a mini one for $36. Like if you just wanted to try it out for a while, like you'd still get a lot of wear out of it. You get 30 mil which is standard. It says it's clean at Sephora, which lots of people say the clean at Sephora thing's kind of like BS. I don't really know. Just that's what it says. And it says that it's liquid. It's full, medium and sheer coverage. So everything. It says the finish is matte natural. And it says that the skin types that this is good for is combination dry, normal and oily. So everyone. Antioxidants, oil free, paraben free, sulfate free. And it's got vitamins. Three different undertones for like neutral, um, warm undertones and cool undertones. It says it's waterproof, sweatproof, smudge proof and mask friendly and I will test that because today I've got my nails and I will be wearing a mask so it'll be a good test. I don't really know how this differs from the original. The reviews on Sephora are very, very mixed. There's a lot of five star reviews but there's also a lot of really bad reviews as well. So who knows how this is gonna go. They've also got a new sponge that you can use with it. I'm just gonna use my sponge that I've already got here. We're gonna do the normal thing. We're gonna prime half the face. If you don't know, my skin is normal to dehydrated. My skin concerns at the moment are a little bit of dry skin around where I've got a few like kind of breakouts. I have one wrinkle up here, this one right here, that foundation seems to sink into a lot lately. I have to blow my nose all the time because I've got that pregnancy rhinitis or whatever it's called like my sinuses during pregnancy. It's been like 24 seven hay fever. I already had 24 seven hay fever. So I blow my nose a lot. I'm gonna be wearing a mask like I said. So we'll be testing those areas. I'm gonna prime half of my face just to see if there's any difference between both sides. I'm just gonna use the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I'm trying to use it up. I love this. I'm thinking about getting the full size. Oh, I should have put my hair back. I always like screw this up. You know when you've already put the product on your fingers and you're like, oh God. <laughs> I always do it when I'm washing my face. Like I put the like cleanser on my hands and I'm like, oh God, how do I do this? All right, we'll prime this side of my face today. Oh, it feels so good. And let's match my hair clips to my outfit. <laughs> so let's do this, I guess. The shade I picked up, I just got one shade because you know, it's a little bit expensive. I didn't want to like go crazy. Hopefully this one's okay. I feel like it's probably my fake tan shade and my fake tan right now is old. Like it's like a week old if not longer. Um, it's kind of hanging around on my neck a little bit and on my chest, but like my hands, it's just nowhere to be seen. It says in brackets, Y325. I believe that might be the old shade. You know, like the match to that shade in the old formula. Shake before use. I kind of just want to Google like, what's the difference between the new one and the old one, you know? I can't remember much about the old one if I'm being honest either. So this is like a fresh first impression because I can't remember what the other one was like to compare it to, to be honest. So I've got to look at like forums and stuff where people are discussing it. Apparently it's just like more HD for like current H. The whole point of the HD, by the way, the high definition, it was, you know, a foundation that was created for makeup artists to use on people that were going to be on television under HD cameras, lighting and all of that kind of thing. So really smooth in those like high detail circumstances, right? So apparently it's just more HD because like everything's more HD now and like all the screens are better and blah, blah, blah. I don't know if that's right or not. If anyone else has any more insight or anyone works at like Sephora or anything like that, please comment below and fill in my viewers for me. I'm finding it hard to like find that info because it's not really like advertised, I guess. Okay. The lid's like soft matte. It feels really nice. And then we have a pump, which is perfect. And can you lock it? I don't think so. Oh well. All right. I'm going to do the unprimed side first. Let's see what one pump looks like. Is that one? Right? I'll try to do like a full pump next time as well because I feel like that wasn't quite a full pump but let's see what this is like. Yeah, this is definitely going to be my fake tan shade. Damn it. <laughs> I should not be filming this today. I should be doing a fresh fake tan first. That did not go very far. 
Okay, maybe that was a full pump. That's how big a full pump it is. I'm just gonna pat that around my face. The finish is super, super matte and smooth. I literally feel like I'm gonna end up wearing about 10 different friggin' pumps on my face because I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't seem to go very far. It looks like skin. If I zoom you in, before I start adding more products and everything, like it looks so smooth, it looks just like skin. Like it looks really good. But I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. You can definitely see the difference if I look straight on between the foundation and no foundation. It does blend very quickly and looks very smooth. It's not streaky or anything like that. That looks so much like skin, holy crap. That's really cool. Okay, let's do the other side. I haven't done my forehead yet, by the way. I'm just kind of doing my cheeks and stuff first. So the one pump, you can see I haven't even like blended it all over. But the one pump kind of gives you like a natural sheer kind of finish. It still adds like quite a bit of coverage, but it looks very, very natural. I feel like the second pump looks like medium coverage. And I guess you just keep building it up if you want to. Like it's quite customizable. So here's the second layer. Covered a little bit more of my discoloration. I still feel like I've got a lot of redness and everything. So let's do another layer. <laughs> I'm using so much foundation to get this look. Holy crap. I hope it doesn't oxidize because that'll be a real fun time if it does. The full coverage, I have to say, like, if this is what you call full coverage, it still looks naturally full coverage, which I do like. I just don't like how much effort it takes to get there. I've put one pump directly on it, my sponge. And I'm just going to apply this to my forehead. One pump of foundation, whether it's sheer or full coverage, is usually enough for my forehead because I don't really have anything to cover, like, at all. So just smack it on to, like, match the colour, really. I'm just, like, whatever. Like, it definitely looks very flawless in terms of, like, skin flawless. Like, it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of makeup. Like, it does not look like I'm wearing six pumps of foundation right now at all. But... I don't know how to feel about it so far, to be honest. I feel like once I put everything else on my face, like I'll be like, oh, it looks really good, but it's just a lot of effort, you know? I'm just gonna quickly whip this down my neck and stuff and just try to like make a match. So I'm gonna use like another eight pumps, probably. I'm adding another pump and a half to my cheeks on both sides, like one pump and a half to do both. Cause I just wanna see how full we can get this. See that's starting to look real pretty for full coverage. But that's way too much product on my face. I hope it really is sweat proof and everything because that's so much makeup. I don't think I would build it up like this. Like if I wanted a full coverage, I think I'd use something else, you know, in an everyday situation. But I do want to test it out for you guys so that if you guys want to know the answer, here it is. We'll see how it goes. Yep, it looks pretty dang good though. I like the finish, um, considering it's more matte. Like it's still got that natural matte kind of finish, which I like. Yeah, it definitely looks really, really good. But that's so much product. Honestly, I'll use this three times, I'll be empty. No, not actually, but you know. <laughs> it's so much. And I'm scared to go on with like too much foundation, I mean, not foundation, concealer, because it'll just crease on that much. But we'll just do a little bit of a brightening one, I think. This is the Boying Bright On Concealer by Benefit. Okay, it doesn't feel sticky. It transfers a little bit, but nothing crazy considering. By the way, I've not watched anyone else's review on this because you guys know me when I'm doing these videos, I just want like an unbiased opinion. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help but see like hype and stuff like that on TikTok and things. Like that was more the case with my last one with the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, but the hype was real, so that's all good. This one, like, I don't know if it's hyped up heaps, but I'd say it's overhyped so far. Although looking in the camera right now, like, oh, that looks so, so flawless. <laughs> Here I am zooming you all the way in in the dark so you can see every imperfection on my face. And it looks very smooth. Like around my nose it looks smooth. Around the dry areas down here it looks smooth. Um, the coverage looks good. It hasn't sunk into wrinkles too badly just yet. I mean a bit, but honestly this wrinkle is like here to stay now. It looks very smooth. So I'll continue to update you guys throughout the day. We'll see how it looks. 
over a longer period of time. Right now it's almost 10 a.m. so we'll just say we're starting at 10. I'm gonna set this quickly just with like my MAC Studio Fix powder because that's just like a go-to. The color's not too bad, definitely better when I've got fake tan on though. Using a bit of NC20 on my face. I would love to use a setting spray right now just to like put some moisture back into my skin but we don't do that in first impressions. I'm gonna use my Dior Powder No Powder in the, the shade 4 or 4 neutral and I'm just going to use that with a powder tulip brush to bronze today because I just want it to be subtle since my face is a little bit darker than my body as it is but just to give my face some shape and then after that I'm just going to do like you know some mascara and some lips and just keep it really chill. See just a little bit of colour to my cheeks and eyelids. Love this powder so much. All right, before I do the rest, I'll just do a quick flash test for you. Okay, honestly, it does look so good in flash photography too. It looks good in person. It's so smooth. I feel like now that I've bought it, you know, I would continue to use it and I'd just use a million pumps and just, because, you know, like, I've already bought it, so whatever. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I just hate how much effort that was. Okay, okay I'm a broken record. I need to stop talking like that, but... You get what I'm saying, right? You get it. But look, it looks flawless. And I like the finish. Like, even after setting it with that Max Studio Fix powder, it kind of, like, sunk in a little bit. And now that, like, kind of glows back. I don't know. Like, the finish didn't change too much, which I like. I do like that. I'm going to continue to do my makeup. And I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. I'll keep updating you guys throughout the day. <sighs> oh, man. I kind of hope that it just doesn't last so that I just hate it again. Because right, I've like gone from like not liking it to liking it. Ugh, my brain. Don't mind the hair. I'm just going to clip back. Okay, so I've had headphones on. And so let's see if it's faded. I feel like it has a bit. Just there. They're like over-ear headphones. So, you know, kind of expect it to happen. But I'm just going to use whatever's on my sponge. And go like this. By the way, it's 12. So it's been on for two hours. So... I mean, the rest of it, as you'd kind of expect, looks pretty good. This wrinkle doesn't look too bad at all. Um, it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. It doesn't look like it's oxidized or anything like that. It looks basically identical, which you would hope so for two hours. So I'm going to go get my nails done. This is where I'm going to be wearing up my mask. Here's my before as well. I feel like last time I did a um, foundation, first impression was when I got my, like the last time I got my nails done, wasn't it? Snap. Okay, anyway. Be back soon. Look how gross, like they're so grown out, they're so curving. Alright guys, it's that time of day where the lighting just looks spectacular and bright. <laughs> which is not good for videos because, hello, I'm trying to show you, you know, foundation. Let me try and fix this. Is this bit of back hair? I mean, borderline. Okay, I've had my mask on for literally four hours, so it's 20 to 5 now. Um, my appointment was at 12.15 and I feel like I need a close-up mirror so I can actually even see but I feel like it's kind of creased a little bit in my smile lines which doesn't often happen. The wrinkle looks kind of the same. I feel like it's starting to look shinier in certain areas around my face because I did not use a whole lot of setting powder you know I just used a light wash of it. Um, by the way I did reapply my lipstick before I hopped on here because I wiped it off because I was wearing a mask. Um, on my nose I feel like it's started to wipe off as well. I'm going to try and like take a photo on my phone and insert it for you guys so you can see better because like to you guys I probably look flawless. I mean it actually does still look good. It looks good. It's just that it's starting to deteriorate a little bit but I mean you know this is six hours now isn't it? Almost seven. So you know I like to say my foundation needs to look perfect for six hours. And if it looks perfect for 12 hours, even better. But six hours minimum, you know what I mean? Like, if I have to touch up a little bit after six hours, I'm happy. Yeah, considering I had a mask on that whole time, like, it does look pretty good. So, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, looks pretty flawless. I'll be back soon again. Um, and I'll show you in better lighting, because, yeah, the sun's starting to go down. And it's just all sorts of whack, but... Since I haven't talked to you guys in a few hours, I wanted to come on here as soon as I got home from my appointment. Oh, by the way, here's the new nails. Aren't they the cutest? I'm obsessed. Little daisies and we custom mix this like green colour. Because it's just <laughs> like the greens, I was like that one's too blue or that one's too bright. I was like can we mix? And this colour is literally what dreams are made of. I'm obsessed with it. Can I zoom you in? Can you see? But no, not really. You can just see my nose here. It's better when I do that. 
Okay guys, it's literally half past five. I just wanted to show you. My sweat's coming through. It's really hot, look. But it doesn't look bad. Like, I mean, sweat. It's sweat. But like, what I mean is, it's not like separating or going wet. I'm just gonna like, blot it. If it like, separate from blotting it, because I need to wipe it off. So I thought I'd do it on camera with you guys. Sorry, that was my phone. Yeah, maybe you can see now. The sun's still kind of awkwardly going down. It's half past five, but maybe you can kind of see where it's separating on the nose a little bit, maybe. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I feel like you can. Like, that's where my mask was. But mask proof. I still feel like it was pretty mask proof considering, like, you know, all across here and it still looks decent. And one of my biggest issues is it fading, like foundation in general fading on my cheeks down here where I've got redness. And I feel like this one isn't doing that yet. So it definitely is pretty long where I would say. And there's not a lot of like imperfections on my face. Like, yeah, it's sunk in a couple of areas. I feel like I could literally take my powder brush and just like buff over it and it would fix it. But we won't do that because I just want to you know, keep trying it and keep waiting and see if it gets worse or not. Um, but yeah. I feel like it does look really good. It looks really fresh still. It looks flawless. Yeah, I I am liking it, to tell you the truth, unfortunately. <laughs> because, yeah. I mean, to be honest though, if I was wearing a foundation to get this finish, this full coverage, I wouldn't pick this. I'd just pick a different foundation straight away because this is just so much product on my skin. To be fair, it doesn't feel like a lot. Like I don't feel like my face feels heavy or cakey or I don't feel like I've got eight different layers of foundation on. But just for ease, I would just take a different foundation. Do you know what I mean? Like if I was gonna go for a full coverage look anyway, I'd probably just take something else. You know, I'm sure you are picking up what I'm putting down right now. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Hey guys, so it is now 10 to 8 p.m. And what's that? Almost 10 hours or about 10 hours. And here's how my face is looking. I did have my glasses on for a little bit and it hasn't left any glasses marks. Um, I will put them back on for the rest of the night too. Playing board games and stuff with friends tonight. Very riveting. Um, but yeah, we'll just see if it leaves any marks later. But I don't think it's changed much at all. Like there's still a little scrape from my mask. Nothing weird with the sweat. The wrinkle isn't worse. It hasn't faded anymore. It's actually holding up really, really, really well. So, yeah, there's the latest update. I'll zoom you in in the dark a bit more. So there's how we're looking. That's like the same as earlier where it's kind of gone into expression lines around my nose isn't looking too bad because sometimes, you know, foundations melt harder around there. Yeah, it's not too bad so far, so... There's a good look at the skin. Hello, guys. We are up to 10 hours now, so it's 10 p.m., eight minutes to ten um and I feel like it still looks the exact same honestly let's take off the glasses and see I feel like it came off a little bit on my glasses yeah definitely a little bit but it's not too bad but there's only a couple of hours I guess like you know and no I did not win the board game I came third we played five tribes not happy about it but it's fine <laughs> Hamish won I'm happy for him because he never wins I might do one more update and like another hour or two I don't know it's Friday night so I'm assuming we'll be up for a little bit longer but so far I feel like it all looks the same I feel like maybe it's faded a little bit just here from where I've been like resting on my hand it doesn't look that much glowy or anything I feel like when I like had that sweat earlier it kind of just came out and then I blotted it off and like you know I, I don't look oilier or sweatier as a whole it just kind of like let it out it was quite breathable i guess is that what you would say it hasn't sunk into the wrinkle on my forehead anymore either like at all if anything i feel like it looks a little bit softer than when i first put it on it's like it kind of like settled onto my skin and mixed with my natural oils and just looked better after like an hour or two so yeah i guess we'll just do one last update in a little bit before i go to bed final update it's actually only been like another half hour because i'm starting to get a little bit of a headache and i just want to go to sleep so final verdict okay it looks a bit worse now with my glasses final verdict though aside like if if i could get this beautiful flawless coverage with way less pumps i'd be like hell yeah go get it it's so good but yeah i guess if you want it and you just want that medium lighter coverage and use a bit less then hell yeah but if you want something super full coverage there's probably others out there you could be using that you'll get better like bang for your buck if you know what i mean because this one's expensive and use a lot to get that full coverage look 
So I guess it just depends. But if you're looking for something that you can use at a lightweight, like on an everyday, and then, you know, occasionally use more of it for like an evening look, like once in a while, once a week or something, and use a bit more, like it can do it all. So I guess it's just up to you whether you think it's worth it or not. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. But I'm pretty sure I will use this and get my money's worth out of it, if you know what I mean. Like, I'll continue to use it because I think it looks beautiful. And the long wear is really, really good. It looks really, 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 really good. Even over 12 hours later. And I feel like sometimes that can be hard to come by. Like, look, you can't even see my redness. So that's really, really, really cool. If you guys have tried it yourself, let me know what you think. Leave your review um, in a comment in the comments, in, the, in a comment, in the, yeah, in a comment in the comments for the rest of my viewers to read, so that we can get some more reviews circulating. You know, let me know your skin type. Let me know your honest thoughts, good, bad. Don't mind. Just give me your review. It can really help out other people. Love the way it looks, it looks very cute. And I might try it in some more videos. You might see it pop up here and there. I might try it with a brush and stuff like that and just see if there's any difference. But yeah, it looks so smooth though, look at that. Definitely really nice over pores and things and over like the fine lines, like I said, definitely didn't get worse. So I think if you've got some skin texture issues and you just wanna like make everything look smooth, I think it's very smoothing. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My next first impression for foundation is it probably going to be this baby right here, the Light Reflecting Foundation by NARS. I picked this up from Mecca. The bottle's so nice. Look at that. It's so pretty. So let me know if you guys want to see this. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.